I can't imagine a better place in Europe, a place that better embraces the spirit of creative disagreement than Central European University. I think debate's important to the next generation of leaders because we need to use words, not weapons, to solve problems. And I think this sets the stage for that. But also, I think the skills that debating develops are the success skills for the 21st century. Learning is even more down below, not done at the very central part, but done at the very low part, even lower than capitalism, it would probably win. Just the ability to speak and to communicate your idea clearly and develop the argument for somebody who doesn't know what you're talking about is a very important skill in any aspect of life. And then the other thing is that the topics are always related to current international affairs and we think that it's very important for everybody that they're aware of the environment that they live in, that they're aware of what's going on in the world around them and this is why I think that is very enriching in many senses. Internet protocol blocking, that is blocking the web page's server address and so-called domain name server blocking are effective and efficient ways of rendering web pages inaccessible. This house believes that a European Union institution should block websites in EU member states that use negative racial, ethnic or religious stereotypes. You have 15 minutes. Good luck. The skill of persuasion, is, of persuading people, is an important skill to have, be it in your f future work life or be it with colleagues, with friends, with other students. Not only because you want to be right all the time, which, well, some of the cases, this is the, is, is the case, but also because you want to do it in the right way. Because you don't only want to tell people, well, this is the right opinion to have, or this is the right opinion to hold, but you also, also want to respect them. We say that this goes implicitly against the EU's goals of integration and of trying to achieve peace between its member states because they're going to be acknowledging that this is a legitimate point, that it deserves to exist in society. But then he tells us that the Innocence of Muslim video was only viewed by less than 1% of the people who saw it, and people got very upset. This is more problematic. If you're talking one-on-one -on -one with someone, you don't have them like, you think that this maybe represents a legitimate opinion. Whereas if you see something online and it gets immediately slammed by 400 people, well then you probably know that the public consensus is that these things are not acceptable. Um, usually when I've been debated before, it's with one particular sect or community or, you know, people from that. So right now, because there's so much diversity here, because I get to see um, and meet people from around the world, so it definitely enhances the experience. I like the people here. I think they, they are quite different in their manners, but that's part of what, why I like debating, is that we get to see different cultures, we get to see different ideas and values, and we get to perfect those that we find better. But I'm loving it, yeah, basically. Biggest word of encouragement is just go for it, basically. Kind of like Nike, just do it. Uh, because a lot of times you think you're not going to be good enough. Uh, like you're not going to be a very good speaker. And for the most part, that's just wrong. Most people are actually very good public speakers. They just don't think that they are, so they've set up this barrier. So just